This year's Griffith Open Day is more open with more answers than ever before. There's new ways to find out everything you need to do to get your dream job. Just visit griffith.edu.au forward slash open day. Just choose your study area and Griffith will send you a personalised itinerary and a map. Plus, an open day wristband for any study information you want sent to your inbox. Register now and get the most out of your day. Griffith University Open Day. Sunday, August 12. When you know more, you can do more. Ground, that could man. be a knee. That could be a knee. On the, yeah. uh, I think it's Seb Tape. That looks nasty. Yeah, I just bent down to get it up and my leg was sort of like, planted out in front, so I was sort of vulnerable. And yeah, he just jumped across my leg for the ball and straight away it was sort of crunch. I thought I'd done like a similar thing to what Gary Rowan had done. I thought my, I'd broken my fibula, so it sort of became more of a knee as I was running off. They couldn't, couldn't give me a exact answer but like to sort of to assume the worst and sort of prepare for an ACL. Sebi's looks bad um, but yeah a bit too early to assess that at the moment but yeah looks looks nasty. We'll have fingers and legs and arms and everything else crossed for him. That's a big mark my tape that's a good grab. I was um, feeling a little bit more comfortable I guess in the back line but yeah I was looking forward to the back end of the year hoping, hoping to try and string some games together and keep learning about um, you know what we've got to do, but uh, especially as well with the club, um, not yet having your, I mean, these are the times that you want to be um, playing with your, with your teammates and get out of this sort of stuff together. I've ruptured my anterior cruciate ligament, and I think I've ruptured my medial ligament as well. Structurally, the knee is still, still pretty, pretty good, so that's that's a good thing for like a long-term um, recovery. Yeah, I did a bit of soul searching and uh, just sort of looked at other people to bench through it, and um, in particular, drew a lot of, uh, sort of inspiration, I guess, out of um, Dean Solomon. And then, a great mentor to me, and he, he did his when he was 22, and he was really positive about it. And um, yeah, it was really good for me. So that, that sort of turned things around. I'm just trying to be positive. Well, you'll be number eight for each other oh, today. We've done a few other things as well, so no. we're well in the group. Yeah, yeah right. Have to. Yeah, you might be fatiguing there. Uh, you're in tap like that. Yeah. Right knee is the correct knee. Yep. Put an arrow on it. Good luck, mate. Excellent. After. Yeah. See ya. Good See ya. Good luck. See ya after. Yep. So we can see here that he's torn his anterior cruciate ligament. He's also torn his medial ligament. There's a tear in his medial ligament, which means it's quite easy to, to have a look around, but that all looks good. This is his lateral meniscus, and we can see a little tear in the back of it. That's a very small tear, but this bit's unstable, so we need to get rid of that. And the next stage will be to get a piece of tendon out to make a new anterior cruciate ligament. So we had a chat with Feb yesterday and talked about the different ways of reconstructing the ligament. We decided that we do our fairly standard hamstring reconstruction. And so the reconstruction is complete. We just have one more look inside the knee. So we can see that that knee is now stable. There's no movement where there was movement before. So the anterior cruciate's doing its thing. Oh, it's Julian Fella here. Yes. Good, everything went well. So he, obviously the anterior cruciate ligament was torn and we reconstructed that. He had a good strong tendon, so he's got a good sized graft, which is important. I'll be able to go to Arizona and um, get some of the benefits out of that. And yeah, hopefully, in my head, I'm really trying to prepare for round one next year.